Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central gives you the opportunity to adjust your settings in the system. This is done through My Settings, and you'll find this up here on the app bar as this little cog. If we click the cog, we see options, one of which is My Settings. In here you'll find, like many of the popped out pages, you have the double-headed arrow. You can maximize to see all the data on it if you wish to. You also will have these little assist edits, the three dots, the ellipsis, that will let you access the choices that you can make to determine what changes are made to your system. So for example, role center, I'm currently a sales order processor. If I click the assist edit, the three dots, it opens up and gives me all the available role centers with currently highlighting the one I'm currently using. Again, if I want to get a wider view, click the double-headed arrow, and I've got a, a clearer view of everything. Now the role center brings a particular focus. It's there for efficiency, it's not security. You still need the right permissions in the background to let this functionality actually work, to give you access to data from the tables. So if I change to bookkeeper, and I say OK, and OK, this will sign me out and back in with a different view of the system but it's reliant on my permissions already being set. I'm a super user, so this will just work. For a normal user, you need to be granted different permissions for this to work effectively. But that role center means I have a different focus. Rather than being sales focused, it's more to do with payments. You'll find the role center brings a different quick actions and different parts in the actual role center. Continuing with my settings, as well as changing my role center, I can change between the various companies that are included within the system. If I click the ellipsis here, I have only one visible. If there are multiple companies available, and I've been given permissions to view those companies, I'll see them here. If they're available to others, but I've not got permissions, I won't see them. To change between them, simply click a different line, say OK. Work date is interesting. For most users, most of the time, this work date will be the system date. Now here, I'm using a weird future date because this is a demo system, so I'm working as of the 23rd of January 2020. For almost all users, almost all the time, this will be taken directly from your system, so it will show today's date, and you won't need to change it. Documents will inherit that date when you create them. If you're doing something such as the month end process, and as part of that you need to process a batch of documents with a different date, then it might be an idea to click the calendar, set it to, for example, the last day of the previous month. Then every document I generate will be created as of that date, and my postings will be as of that date. I process a batch and then change back. But that only applies to a few users specifically for the month end process. Most people, most of the time, this will be your system date. Following on from that, I can change the language that the system uses with me. Now this will not translate data. This will translate some of the headings used within the system. So for example, I'm currently using English UK. If I switch to French, say OK, say OK, the system will restart and some of the screen elements have been changed to display in French. For example, activities, to show more, but not everything, as you clearly see from the navigation bar. If I go to a different list page, we see that actually on the command bar here, there have been a number of changes, so we're showing everything. We can search, we can create new, we can delete, and we can look at related information, and some of which are easier to guess than others. OK, if I change my language back to English for the purpose of this demo, just to make things a little easier. So back to English UK. Again, system restarts. And we're back in English. OK, and returning to my settings for the last few bits, we can set our regionalization. We can also set our time zone. 
each of these we're given a list of time zones each can be widened to make it easier to display we're correctly set here for me GMT to choose a different one simply select the line and say OK finally down the bottom we have confirmation when I last signed in and I can change when I receive notifications so I click this again this page can have two width views double headed arrow let me expand or collapse that notifications are warnings they're not a block they won't stop me continuing but they will raise something for my for my information and I can decide whether or not to continue so for example it will offer them to update addresses if I update those on a transaction it will warn me if things are low in inventory it will warn me if the customer has an overdue balance it can also warn me our unposted documents but as you see with this one there's a filter in place so it'll only warn on document type of invoice not orders for example each of these with a tick can be enabled or unticked to stop them operating each of these will only affect your use of the system they will not affect anybody else and that was my settings there will be further information contained within the course for system administrators there is more information available on this from your account manager or on our website